So here we are in Virginia. We're going into the headquarters for PBS because we want to hand in a petition about how they were censoring this documentary on China called Voices from the Front Lines, China's War on Poverty. It's a great documentary. So we want to go and see if we can hand in these petitions. broadcasting system and let me just say how appalling it is you know I understand the COVID thing but now I kind of think that people are using COVID as an excuse like you can't get into Congress anymore um, why don't they say you can get in if you've been vaccinated um, you can't get into see public broadcasting and you know it's not like we didn't try we called and we called and we wrote and we emailed and um, we tweeted at them got no response so i think you know things are changing in a way where public is as this nice security guy said becoming very private and we've got to find ways to open the doors again and say hey these are services that you're supposed to provide for us the public just delivered a petition signed by many thousands of people, including award-winning uh, filmmakers, complaining about PBS censoring a documentary that was made to show how China did this most amazing thing of lifting 100 million people out of I have nothing against Jita. I enforce the laws. I don't make the laws, okay? And if I'm on my own time, I can protest all I want, and I'm for it. But well, we only I have see... a job to do, and I don't want to take to the next level, do you... and I don't want to take you to jail. I don't want to do that. Uh, for trust yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're not issuing you a banning notice right now. They could do that and ask you, never come on this property again. If you come on the property, you'll be arrested for trespassing. came to deliver a petition about how PBS has refused to air a documentary that was made for PBS on how China had eliminated poverty. It's called Voices from the Frontline, uh, China's War on Poverty. I watched it, I had to watch it twice because it was so fascinating and you can get it on YouTube, so, so go look at it. Um, and so we came here to deliver a petition. We could not meet with anybody from PBS. Not only couldn't we get in and talk to somebody, we couldn't stand on the outside of the building there. Then we couldn't stand on the area where the cars go in, and then we couldn't sit on the benches in front either. And they called them first the security guards and then they called the police. So I just want to say something's wrong with this country and something's wrong with the public broadcasting services that doesn't have any way for the public to interface with them. <laughs>